What's up, people? I hope that everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day. Today is my soapbox Monday with my crazy hair that I haven't washed in probably about three days. I know it's super cute when you don't wash your hair for three days. And um, it's been a long, like, two days for me. Let's call it, like, we'll just call it two days, right? So anyways, I figured I'd hop on here real quick while I actually had some little bit of energy left over. Hi, Tina. I love you. What's up, Anthony? I literally just got home. It's so funny because I won't even say her name because, you know, I know she's going to hop on here and say something, but I'm just going to. But my neighbor saw me pull in and, you know, obviously, like, I'm playing the loudest music in the entire neighborhood as I'm pulling in because just that's my only time to zone out. And obviously, you know, I have to hear, like, the bomb, 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 bomb in my back in order for me to, like, relax. I know it's horrible. But anyway, so it's like a quiet neighborhood and I'm pulling in like, boom, 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 boom. So I have my neighbors outside that have their... They have their garage door open and she starts laughing and she's like, you better take your shoes off before you do your soapbox. I'm like, don't worry. I was like, I'm running inside. I have to go to the bathroom really, really, really fast, but I'll take my shoes off. So I'm, I promise as promised, I just take my shoes off. Oh my goodness. I just got home. Have you guys seen that? I just got home. It is 1045 Eastern standard time. I just walked in my house. Last night, I was up until 4.30 in the morning because, ew, whatever, Anthony. Anyways, because I knew that one of my main girls, Megan, she wasn't going to be able to come in today. She's off for her birthday weekend, whatever. Who deserves a birthday weekend, right? I'm totally kidding. Um, but <laughs> with that being said, you know, it's been a uh, long few hours for me. So I did stay up till like, you know, like 4.30 in the morning, making sure that everything was right for all the girls today and that everybody was going to walk into like a nice clean slate. Everybody had everything set up. But of course I was like, you know what, because I stayed up so late, I want to make sure that I go home at a decent hour. So of course, like nine o'clock rolls around I'm sitting in the office and I'm like, okay, that didn't work out quite how I wanted it to work out. But okay. So Legit, guys, I have to like share this with you. And I think I've hopped on here a couple times. Gosh, my hair is like really bad. But anyways, I think I've hopped on here a couple times to tell you guys about like what it's really like. I know that people like run around and they're like, I'm a boss. Yeah, look at me. I'm such a boss. You really can't say that until you really live the life of having to make the sacrifices of what it's like to have to own a business, be a mom, be a wife you know, it's not easy. It really isn't. I mean, for me to go to bed at 4.30 in the morning, wake up at 8 o'clock, let's call it 8.30. I'll be, you know, I'm being like trying to be nice here with the timing. But I mean, to wake up at 8.30 and then, you know, go for a whole nother day and literally have back to 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 back things happen throughout the day and have no break at all. Literally, I'm going to post what I ate for lunch today because I ordered Uber Eats. I thought the girls think I was like crazy or something, but I literally ordered like Uber Eats and I ordered like six different like entrees and I had it out like a buffet style. And I'm like, I just want to make sure that I'm like happy with my meal because I've had that long of a couple hours. Like, you know, it's been like probably about 30 hours worth of work. So it's just what you have to do, you know? And like, I can't really relate when people say that, you know, they're so tired and that they're exhausted from their day at work, not to say that you guys don't work hard and that you guys don't deserve that, like, you know, praise. But if you're not working like this, I can't, you can't ask me to have sympathy for you. Now, being in the medical field for so long, it has taught me to be empathetic versus sympathetic. I never knew the difference between the two, right? What up, Tanisha? Um, and what up, Zito? So anyways, it's taught me to be, you know, empathetic versus sympathetic. You know, sympathetic, you sympathize with people. When you're in the medical field, you have to learn how to, like, cut between the two, especially when I mean, some of the practices that I've worked in, you know, whether it was internal medicine, dialysis, I've worked in quite a few different practices where you really have to separate yourself so you're not getting totally emotionally attached to your patients where it's really affecting you and you know you're taking it super personal not to say that you're not supposed to take it personal but I mean 
you know, as you're growing up in the medical field, you kind of like, you take it super personal if you really do give a shit, right? So I was one of those people that actually gave a shit. I could probably name off at least nine to 11 doctors on here and tag them to where they would tell you like, I actually gave a shit about our, like all, all of our patients and our entire practice, like as if it was my own. So anyways, you have to, um, you really have to, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to empathize. So anyways, speaking of empathy, I have been able to like empathize with some of the girls that say that they're working these long eight hour shifts and it's just so exhausting for all these females, not to say it's just females, let's say it's males too, that they're working their nine to five, they're so tired, they come home, they put their feet up, whatever. I'm like, I can't feel for you. Like even in the girls in the office, like I can't feel for them either. I can't even feel bad for them because I'm like, guys, listen to me. I have been up since 4.30. I am not the person to complain to right now. I am the last person to complain to. I think you should go and complain to Molly or you should go and complain to the janitor or go complain to somebody else that's not me that's been up since 4.30 in the morning to make sure all your shit here at Titan goes okay. So I am the last person to complain to. I love you guys, but you're not going to get any sympathy from me. Do you know what my dad used to tell me? I'm going to tell you guys this because it's absolutely great. It's like such a great saying and I'm going to share it with the world so all of you guys can share it with your friends one day. You guys ready for it? So my dad used to tell me when he was around, God bless him and, you know, may him rest in peace. Um, so he used to tell me, he used to say, hey, you know, do you know where you can find sympathy? And so then this is horrible. Forgive me, John. I'm sorry in advance because he doesn't like when I say mean things on here. So he said, you know, you know where you can find sympathy? And I'm like, where? You know, tell me, dad. And he's like, you can find sympathy in the dictionary between shit and syphilis. And that's where you'll find it. So to this day, <laughs> to this day, I tell people, <laughs> not everybody, but there are people that I tell. I'm like, oh, so you're looking for sympathy? Okay. Well, I can definitely tell you where to find that. And then I told them that saying, which is absolutely horrible. I'm sure it's like half the people on this feed are not going to agree with that. But it's true. If you look in the dictionary between shit and syphilis, you're going to find it there. I promise. Like you're literally going to find the word sympathy there between those two words. I know it's bad. John, I just said that I just said where you find sympathy in the dictionary. So I'm sure you're going to love it so much. So anyways, that's where you find sympathy. All right. So it's really, really hard for me to have sympathy for other people that don't, that don't have to sacrifice some of the things that I know you have to sacrifice when you're in my position. And guys, I haven't been doing this for one year, not for two years, not for three years, not for four years, not for five years, not for six years, but for seven years, I have been making a sacrifice, whether it was sacrificing my sleep, sacrificing my health because I had to, I didn't have a choice, sacrificing my time with my husband, sacrificing my time with my family and my son, just sacrifices. These are sacrifices that you have to make. You have to pick and choose. You know, at some point, I think there was a point that me and John had to pick and choose. Like, do we want more kids or do we want to keep Titan? Because Titan is a kid. It's like a baby in a book bag, you know? So I asked him like, so if I get pregnant today, I would love to know, like, where would you like me to put this baby in a book bag and bring it to me, like bring it to work with me, like on my, you know, 20 hour shift. I think the baby would love that, you know? It's just not feasible. So, you know, it's, you have to make your sacrifices when you're a business owner, entrepreneur, even when you're just a regular mom or just a regular wife. But in this particular situation, that's what you have to do. Okay. So for those of you out there that do work long hours, just remember that I'm sure there's someone out there, probably a very minimal amount. But I'm sure there's someone out there that works more hours than I do, okay? And I'm sure that that person's probably looking at this video like this girl has no idea what she's talking about because I work 24 hours a day and I sleep like maybe once every three days. That is someone that would outwork me, okay? I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm being dead serious. I really do work that many hours. It's actually sickening. But, you know, our business is so... It's so important, you know, like 
every little bit of it. It's, I don't know if maybe it's just like a personal thing at this point. Tunisia, love you. Um, I don't know if it's just a personal thing at this point or if it's just, maybe it's just me having to care about every little portion of the business and every little portion, like every patient and everything that happens. But it's just, I guess just the way I was built. So it is what it is. Um, thriving and growing as well. Yes, Miss Tina. Tina actually works in the office. She's still fairly new. She's on this feed right now. And man, do I love me some Tina. Okay. Tina's a hard worker. I have respect for hardworking women. I mean, especially women out there that don't have a bazillion people to support them. We got lucky and we, oh my God, Chenille, you're awake. Oh my gosh. This is like way past your bedtime. It's like way past your bedtime, way past your bedtime, but I'm going to accept it because you're on my feed and I love you. So <laughs> anyways, that makes me laugh. And that my nurse practitioner is up this late. She's never up this late. Like literally she's sleeping by like, I don't know, by like 8.30. I'm probably, I'm just, I'm being a little over the top here, but she's usually sleeping around 8.30. Regardless of the fact, guys. <laughs> What's up, Arnie? I haven't talked to you in forever. Call me tomorrow. I need to catch up with you. Anyways, I just think that it's really important to stress to people how, like, you know, you just got to keep going. Just push yourself through anything you got to push through, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally. I hope everybody had a grand Mother's Day. You know, I'm a mom. Peter had a double basketball game. I don't know how you do that on a freaking Mother's Day. Okay, of course, half the children were missing. I mean, they still played great. But, I mean, I still had to fit in this crazy-ass weekend of, like, baseball, <laughs> basketball, you know, football. I'm like... Wow, if I had any other children, I wouldn't know like what to do with myself or like how to fit all of this shit in to one day. I just wouldn't know how to manage that. So it's important, guys. You know, what means a lot to you means a lot to you. And Titan's been around for seven years. And in all honesty, um, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to make whatever needs to happen happen. You know, it's if I have to sit here with my phone and my laptop in one hand and one in the other till 4 30 in the morning and I'm like literally passing out then I guess just that's just what it's gonna be isn't it so I don't feel bad for me and nobody else should feel bad for me but I will tell you I'm not gonna feel bad for anybody else so don't come crying to me telling me you've had a long day because I'm gonna tell you where to find sympathy in the dictionary which is not what I'm gonna repeat until you watch the beginning of this video What's up, Ralph? Thank you, Arnie. Um, so I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. I do want to make sure that everybody knows. <clears throat> I only got to do my soapboxes like once a week. And it's only because I am exhausted and I'm tired. I have a million things on my plate. So I don't want people to take it personal if I don't respond to like your Facebook Messenger right away. Or if I don't respond to your, you know, text message on my personal cell phone. You guys have to understand, like, I will reach behind me and grab the three phones that are in my purse right now to show you how many different platforms that I have to answer people on. And it's like, it's complicated, you know, and especially when everybody is important. It's not just like, you know, everybody's important for the most part. Most of you, some of you, me and you have problems, but regardless of the fact, what up, Mandy? I hope everybody had a good Mother's Day. I am glad to hop on here. I just want to say hi to everybody real quick. Tell everybody what it's like to have to be an entrepreneur and work a bazillion hours a day. And nobody ever is going to understand that until you actually go through it. So it's really nice to have a good working relationship with my husband because he is, he's a pusher, you know, he'll push me and make sure that I get everything done. And I push him, make sure he gets all his stuff done. So it's important. It's really important. So I come home and enjoy myself, take my shoes off. Mondays I get my house clean, so it's nice to be able to look around and everything's clean. I get to come home and cuddle with my dog, you know, and have a good old time with me, my dog, my blanket, my little, you know, where is it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, a blankie. So, I mean, come on, guys. You gotta have a blanket. Everybody has a blanket, right? Don't you guys have blankets? I mean, right? Okay, maybe not. But anyways, um, <laughs> guys, I'm totally just the normal person that 
you know, I'm not going to fake it, fake it to make it. I know a lot of people on here that they own businesses and they have to fake who they really are. So I do hop on these little soap boxes and rants and stuff like that. I try not to make it all negative because I know I am negative Nancy. I am that person that will tell you, well, let me tell you really, that this bottle is, let me use the one that's halfway because that's not fair. So that this bottle of Aquapana, by the way, I need my um, royalties from this commercial. Anyways, this bottle of Aquapana is half empty and it's not half full. But that's just who I am. I'm negative Nancy. I look at the worst case scenario and that way I always prepare myself for the very, very worst thing that can ever happen. So that way, if it does happen, I am completely prepared. And I'm not always expecting for everything to turn out like Cinderella. That's just who I am. I was built that way. So whenever I hop on these things, I'm myself. I don't filter anything, which is probably a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But 90% of you on here already know who I am and how I am. So, you know, it just is what it is. So here's my little schmanimal. I always put you guys on my laptop because I don't know how. I still haven't mastered this whole uh, thing of being able to hold my phone and have this stuff here too. But so listen, in our house, we have this thing that's right by the window. And it's a big ass bean bag. Now, if I could sleep on this bean bag, that would be badass. So, yes, I did make that. It's called the Tight Medical Old People Blanket <laughs> Quilt that I made at Bed Bath & Beyond online. And it's awesome. Anyways, this bean bag is great. This is a fantastic thing if I have to, like, lay down here while John's sleeping just so I can go on here and do my work. So... I stand here. I grab Zena. Me and Zena hang out. Right? My first dog. Probably my last dog. My first dog. But me and Zena hang out, have a good old time. But this is what I, I want to come home to. Brian Wolfstein. What is up? I hope, Brian, you're doing well. I'm sending you my love. I was just talking about what it's like to be an entrepreneur and, you know, be a, I'm sure of all people on the planet, you might be one of the people, one of the very few people, actually, that actually know what it's like to stay up till 4.30 in the morning, wake up at 8, and then not get home until 10.45. So, it is what it is, though. I'm not bitching about it. I'm simply stating that you know, anybody else that wants to complain about it really shouldn't complain about it. You should probably reevaluate your day and say, damn, you know, maybe my day wasn't that bad. I was able to come home and have dinner with my family or put my feet up and be able to watch some Netflix and eat some popcorn. Me, on the other hand, must show you that, unfortunately, even though I is 10, what, 10.45? It's 11 o'clock. Even though it is 11 o'clock at night, I do have my laptop out right there. I'm putting you guys back on my laptop since I suck at holding this phone thing, selfie thing. I'm not down with this. But, yes, Brian, I actually, you are one of the very few people in our industry that I absolutely adore. So, I will say that publicly. You know, I have a lot of respect for you and I know that John does too. Um, I have my laptop out because I am, when I hang up this live soapbox, whatever you want to call it. When I hang it up, I'm going to go back to work because I still have a bazillion things I need to do. So you have to make sure that you, you know, when you own a business and you have other people, like we have thousands of patients nationwide. When you have something like that, you have to put everybody else before yourself. So, you know, I will tell you one thing that's been super complicated. I'll make sure I tag him in here. This Putting these in your eyes and like having 50 eye drops a day, um, having to put those in your eyes like every two hours when I can't even barely fit in a bottle of water or like lunch is nearly impossible. So the fact that my uh, corneal abrasion slash scars are going to get any better, probably not, but I'm okay with that. You know, I'll figure it out. But like I said, you got to make sure you put everybody else before yourself if you want to be successful, okay? Now, I'm not saying to put everybody before your family because my son comes before anything on this planet and my husband comes before anything on this planet. 
but we were ever so blessed to be able to retire my husband's dad and he does help us with Peter. And if we didn't have that help, I don't know how we would be able to accomplish half the things we accomplished today, you know, and it's, it would be nearly impossible. It really would be. So, um, I do want to give a big shout out to Pete Sikoris. And you know, the funny thing about me and Pete Sikoris is that <laughs> me and John have been married for 11 years. And in the first, let's call it two, I'm going to be generous. Let's call it in the first two years, me and Pete literally hate each other. Like when I say hate each other, we were living in the same house and hated each other. Like couldn't stand each other. Fight after fight after fight after fight. So little do I like put together to this day that I really think that the reason that we used to fight the way that we fought was because we were so much alike. So if you ever fight with somebody like that, reevaluate the situation because you might be more alike than you really think, you know. So I love him. He's awesome. We wouldn't be able to do what we do today without him. But guys, if you're working eight hours, stop your bitching. Stop your complaining. It's fine. Go home. Take a shower. I'm lucky if I get to wash my hair. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm not doing that tonight, nor am I doing that tomorrow because my first meeting tomorrow is going to be at 11 o'clock and I'm going to have girls at the office at 8.30 FaceTiming my phone asking me what the next thing they're going to do is. Fun. You got to love technology, right? Just got to love it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I want to hop on here, say hi to you guys and, you know, do my soapbox. I didn't have anything to rant about today. I'm sure that I'll find something wonderful to rant about halfway through the week, but I am trying to keep it as least negative as possible, considering that finding the negativity is incredibly easy and finding the positivity is incredibly difficult. So if you're able to pick out the positive things, but then by all means, got to do it, right? So the positive things, we have a successful business. Thank goodness. Everybody in my family is healthy. Thank goodness. Everybody we've come across has been absolutely amazing, and we are blessed to have the family and friends that we do. And, you know, as we get more successful, I feel like the the castle, I guess, gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and your group gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and you realize who really, really is around you because they want to be around you. So, it's nice to have it's nice to have true friends, and it's nice to have family members that you know actually care. So anyways, guys, I'm out of here. I have to sleep. <laughs> so I'm probably going to take some Tylenol PM because if I don't take something to go to bed or some Titan Serenity, I'm probably going to stay up until like another 4 a.m. night. And then you know what's going to happen? I'm going to be such a bitch tomorrow. No one's going to like me at all. They'll all still smile, but they won't like me. So John's coming upstairs. I'm going to let you guys go. And I hope everybody has a wonderful night. See ya.